The old Assassin's Creed games are incredible. I mean, they're better than whatever we are getting now. Yet where the old games are at a big disadvantage when compared to the newer titles like Valhalla is the graphics and outdated animations. Gameplay wise and even open world wise, the old games play and feel so much better. Yet it's hard to not notice a lot of the outdated visuals and features in the game that can make it sometimes hard and frustrating to play in 2021. And with remakes becoming so popular these days as it gives companies needs the opportunity to give some old classics some modern love so the games can become more pleasing to the modern audience, Ubisoft hasn't done any for Assassin's Creed. It seems like such an obvious and easy thing for Ubisoft to do. I mean, getting some phenomenal looking graphics and animations on a game like AC1 would be some huge news and please so many fans. Not only that, but Ubisoft can do what they do best and resell an old game for lots of money like how they did with the AC3 and Rogue Remastered. Yet these would be actual remakes, so they'd actually have to put some effort in them. So that's perhaps why we haven't gotten any yet. AC1 is the clear and prime candidate for a remake. I love AC1, and I still think it's great in 2021, but anybody can tell by playing the game for an hour that there's a lot that needs to be touched up and changed to make the game more enjoyable, and with the remake treatment, it'll bring more attention and popularity to the game than ever before. I also think this would be a great way to satisfy some really angry Assassin's Creed fans like me and 98% of the people who watch me by giving us an actual Assassin's Creed game to play and enjoy, as well as subjecting the old AC formula to a lot of new fans so that we can get more people to want the old school Assassin's Creed back. I have absolutely no doubt that an Assassin's Creed 1 remake would sell extremely well. And it's not like Ubisoft even has to create a whole new game. They can just remake the graphics and fix some of the glitches and outdated mission designs. They also definitely need to make it so you can access the open world without having to launch a mission through the Animus every time. And I'd happily spend $60 on that rather than some Viking game. It doesn't have to stop with AC1 either. AC2 is another great candidate for a remake, and Ubisoft could very realistically do remakes for both games. AC2 is one of the most beloved classics of the series, and again, bringing that to the modern light would be huge and sell very well. I'm really curious what goes on at the head of Ubisoft, because literally anybody who's played this series can see that a remake is a great idea and that so many fans would play it and it would sell very well. It's not like Ubisoft would have to spend all the money on making a new game, they just have to remake it and do what they do best, which is market and sell. Most modern remakes we've gotten with games like Final Fantasy 7 or soon to come the Mass Effect Legendary Edition look incredible. I mean, if you look at Final Fantasy 7, that game sold extremely well, so there's no reason why a huge company like Ubisoft with the resources and money couldn't remake a classic game from their most popular and profitable IP. No microtransactions though, I swear if I see a demigod outfit for 20 bucks in the store for Altair, I will personally punch the CEO in the face even if he had nothing to do with it. I don't know, this seems like such a huge and blatant opportunity for Ubisoft to take advantage of, and with next gen just coming out, there's no better time for a remake, especially since we're kind of in this awkward waiting period for the series, so a remake would do so well right about now. Now I'm not gonna pretend to know what goes into me, making a remake for a game like AC1. I'm sure it takes a lot of time and work, but there's still so much from the original game that doesn't even need to be touched, so it's not like they're creating a new game from scratch. And with how quickly Ubisoft used to be able to put out Assassin's Creed games, it really shouldn't take them that long. I mean, Ubisoft Montreal only had a year to create Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and that game turned out to be great, so I don't think a remake would even take them that long, especially when AC1's story is only like 8 to 10 hours at the most. Some may be sad satisfied with just some remasters for some of the older games, but the way Ubisoft does remasters and the very minimal changes they make, if they're going to touch AC1 and even 2 at all, I think it has to be a remake. But just imagine seeing our boys Altair and Ezio in modern day graphics. That's a dream come true right there, and it makes a ton of sense for the fans and for Ubisoft's greedy wallets. So who knows why this isn't already a thing. Again, I think it's the perfect timing as well, especially with the next big AC game being rumored to not be coming out until 2022 or 2023 even, and there needs to be a shorter game in between, and an AC1 remake would fit that role perfectly. And hopefully a remake would help new fans of the series to appreciate the old classics in 2021 and help them understand us when we say we want old Assassin's Creed back. But at the end of the day, like always, the fans will continue to come up with all these great ideas for the series, and Ubisoft will continue to say, nah, enjoy playing as these Vikings, losers. But let me know if you think Ubisoft really should be making
making remakes for old AC titles or not. And feel free to give me some of your ideas for what they could change in an AC1 or AC2 remake and how it'll make the experience even better. If you enjoyed this video, as per usual, you can help me out by leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more Assassin's Creed related content like this. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day, Assassins.